Welcome to the SAS tutorial on subsetting data part three. This time we're going to look at more logic operators to help us subset our data. So I've read in the cyclercpk.csv data found in the repository link below. I've already read it in as we've done in the previous video and it's sitting in my work directory right over here. So what I want to do is start playing with other ways to subset this data. So I'm going to do data, I'm going to do cycler, and then in this case, n. And I'm going to do set, and I'm going to use the cycler data set. That's where it's going to come from. And then here, I'm going to do where, and I want, in our case, the treatment. I'm going to use not equals. So we use this twiddle or the wavy line, not equals to n. So there was a group of people that received no treatment. So run. And if I run this, cycler n shows up. And notice that in our treatment column, there is no one with the letter N. But if I look in our original data set, the first ones are lettered N. So it allows us to remove those. We can also use uh, other operators such as greater than, less than, and so on. So data cycler, let's say one, five, uh, dash or underscore 500, 500. So here, I'm going to get this from the Cycler data set. And here I'm going to where my CPK1 is greater than 500. And this should subset my data to where only the ones bigger than 500 in the CPK1. And if I look down through here, all of them are bigger than 500. I look in my original data set, there are 400s and 300s in here. So I know that it removed them and it did it correctly. So that's a good thing to know. Uh, if you wanted to, we can copy and paste this just to show the difference here. So if we wanted greater than or equal to, we would just stick an equal on here. If we wanted uh, less than or equal to, we would just switch it to a less than, but this will give us the greatest flexibility in being able to do these. So if I do this, there's none of them that are 500 exactly, so it doesn't really matter. So if I were to make this 500 and then put an underscore one so that we have a separate one. All right, run this and look at it. And sure enough, here they are again. All right, so this gives us a way to do not equals, greater than, greater than or equals. Of course, less than and less than or equals work just the same. And now you should have some tools to be able to actually start subsetting your data the way you want to in order to get what you need out of it. All right, so now we can move on to the next video.